CircuitJSON is a specification. It's kind of like a format that anyone can use to represent uh, printed circuit boards, schematics, uh, build materials, and anything associated with a circuit, really. Um, so once you put something into CircuitJSON, you can convert to all these different formats. Uh, TS Circuit uses CircuitJSON uh, to, to, like, that's what it builds into. So anytime you see TS Circuit do something, you can use the CircuitJSON. So right here, we have a very basic circuit. It does nothing, but it has a capacitor connected to a resistor. And we can see all these schematic views. These are all rendered using CircuitJSON. Even the 3D view is rendered using CircuitJSON. So if you create CircuitJSON, you can use any of these viewers. These are all open source and MIT licensed. If we go to the CircuitJSON tab, you can see the contents inside of it and click on these and actually see the, uh, the data associated with um, this element in the circuit JSON. So this is a good way to understand uh, what is, uh, how, to, how to create spec compliant uh, circuit JSON, but you can generate circuit JSON from any tool you want. If you're building a new tool, you can use it. Um, you also don't have to generate all of circuit JSON. Um, many formats, if you look at Upverter JSON or any of these people who have tried to create uh, create a JSON format from circuit boards, um, they often struggle with this nesting thing. They want to uh, sort of nest things together and it gets really complicated. We avoid that problem completely with circuit JSON by uh, sort of making it a flat structure, kind of like how you would uh, organize a database. So. Um, there's uh, three sort of scopes currently. There's source, PCB, and schematic. And you can generate components sort of optionally within these scopes. You don't need, if you have a PCB board, you don't need a source board or all these other things. You can just generate that one component. And so CircuitJSON is essentially a big array of JSON objects that may be connected together. If we look at one of them, let's look at uh, a PCB plated hole. You'll see that it has IDs on it, usually optional IDs that can link it to other elements. And so it's organized a lot like a uh, uh, sort of a database would be a normalized database. And this makes it a lot easier to build up CircuitJSON um, because you don't need to worry about creating every element uh, of the standard until you need the functionality for it. For example, in the case of PCB plated holes, if you don't have a PCB component that represents all of those, you might not be able to drag them all together because we don't know uh, if that plated hole is connected to anything else. So you can sort of incrementally build up your circuit JSON implementation. If you don't want the schematic, you don't have to build the schematic part out. And of course, uh, if you are using circuit JSON, you might consider just using TS circuit. Uh, we have a module called eval, which allows you to very quickly turn TS circuit code into circuit JSON, which you can then use with any of the converters we release.